Obsidian didn't have a lot of time to work on Fallout New Vegas. Despite that, there are still a ton of references to other games, movies, and things in pop culture. Here are 12 weird references in Fallout New Vegas. Number 12. The Repcon Aerospace Facility is one of the most iconic locations in the game, but it's actually a reference to the Pepcon disaster that took place 10 miles outside of Las Vegas on May 4th, 1988, which killed 3 people and injured hundreds more. The explosion that occurred caused a 3.0 magnitude earthquake to shatter windows at the nearby McCarran Airport, also in New Vegas, and battered a Boeing 737 that was landing at the airport. Number 11. The soldier President Kimball is awarding a medal to, during his speech at Hoover Dam, Private Jeremy Watson, is pretty similar to Forrest Gump. They share similar haircuts and are both in the army. Neither are particularly bright. Both saved a platoon of soldiers, Watson at Hope for Lorne, and Gump in the Vietnam War. And of course, they both receive a medal from the President. Number 10. The Wild Wasteland trait adds many unique things to the Mojave Wasteland. One of them is that if you talk to Rex, you have a chance of getting a map marker which shows the location of someone named Jimmy who fell into a well. This is a reference to Lassie, a dog who found people who got stuck in wells for some reason. Number 9. The dinosaur in Novak, named Dinky the Dinosaur, is a reference to two real-world dinosaurs, Dinny the Dinosaur, a Brontosaurus, and Mr. Rex, a T-Rex, both of whom are located in Cabazon, California. Number 8. Magazines are fairly common across the world of Fallout New Vegas. Patriot's Cookbook, one such magazine, is a reference to the controversial Anarchist Cookbook, which contained instructions for creating homemade explosives. The in-game magazine's cover has the words, Banned Material, Mark for Burn, stamped on it. Number 7. During your investigation of the White Glove Society, you might encounter an investigator by the name of Caruso. It's possibly a reference to David Caruso, who's played investigator roles on NYPD Blue and CSI Miami. This becomes more apparent with the Wild Wasteland trait enabled, as the investigator also has Caruso's red hair and sunglasses. Number 6. There are a surprising amount of biblical references in Fallout, enough to warrant its own video. However, one of the more interesting ones in New Vegas comes from the quest Render Unto Caesar, which is a reference to a passage from Mark 12.17 which reads, Render unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Number 5. Veronica Santaglio, a companion, will sometimes have a spork in her inventory. Veronica's voice actress, Felicia Day, played Penny in Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, in which her character often used a spork to eat frozen yogurt. Number 4. The Gunrunner's Arsenal DLC added some new challenges to New Vegas. One, entitled, Even a God King Can Bleed, requires you to use a throwing spear to cripple Caesar's head. This references the movie 300, in which Leonidas of Sparta declares that by the end of the battle, he will prove that even a god king can bleed. Then he proves it by throwing a spear which gently slices through Xerxes' cheek. Number 3. Every companion will make comments throughout their adventures with the courier. With Cass as a companion, when sneaking, she will sometimes say, Be very, very quiet, we're hunting shitheads. This is a reference to Elmer Fudd's quote, Shh, be very, very quiet, I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> Number 2. Another fun Gunrunner's Arsenal challenge is, You don't belong in this world. In it, you must kill 10 abominations using katanas, dynamite, machetes, throwing spears, throwing knives, or throwing hatchets. This references Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. In it, Richter Belmont uses the previously mentioned weapons to slay minions of Dracula. The name of the challenge is also from a line in the game. Number 1. Part of the G.I. Blues quest has you go to the old Mormon fort located in Freeside, where you will find three men, named Roy, Wayne, and Ferris. Put together, their names are Roy Wayne Ferris, which is the real name of professional wrestler The Honky Tonk Man who held the WWF Intercontinental Championship for a record 64 weeks from June 2nd, 1987 to August 29th, 1988. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about 12 weird references in Fallout New Vegas. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. I have a Patreon, you could look at that if you're so inclined. Otherwise, my name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.